Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and rumors are, well, over. Looks like this is actually real. Intel has just recently announced its long-speculated new core processor that combines high-performance CPU with a discrete GPU from AMD for an incredible graphics and compute performance package. Coupled with HBM memory, the main advantage of this approach is incredible power savings as well as increased performance over traditional integrated GPUs which use technology licensed from NVIDIA. We will cover the f official press release first, and then we're going to move on to some ben tasty benchmarks and leaks here. Intel recently confirmed at their technology and manufacturing day that they'll be moving towards a more robust and heterogeneous architecture. Sounds familiar, right? This new architectural layout will allow Intel to mix and match various CPU components and dies based on different process nodes and interlinking them onto a single chip. This would allow Intel to do away with the cost and efficiency of a single monolithic design and utilize smarter, more efficient designs for their future processors. The new processors will utilize an embedded multi-die interconnect bridge that allows for high density and high bandwidth die-to-die -die interconnect. Let's talk about the Intel Kaby Lake Core i7-8705G and the Core i7-8809G processors with integrated Radeon graphics leaked benchmarks and further details. So, while Intel has chosen to remain tight-lipped about the details surrounding their upcoming lineup, the rumor mill has already had a buttload of leaks on the series, dubbed KB Lake G Series. It will have a dedicated Radeon GPU of the Polaris family, according to the information we have. Now, according to these leaked specifications, here's what we know about the chip so far. The dedicated GPU will have 24 compute units for a total of 1536 stream processors, which is not shabby whatsoever. It's well beyond a the 560 class, but slightly behind that of the 570, so you'll see it somewhere in there. Clock rates sit around uh, 1 gigahertz to 1.1 gigahertz for a maximum performance of 3.3 teraflops. The family of Radeon GPUs used for the following board names, 69C colon C0 and 694E colon C0. The 4 gigabytes of HBM memory and the 694C variants have been clocked at 800 megahertz, while the 694E variants clocked at 700 megahertz. Now, the entire KB Lake G family has four cores and eight threads, and the known SKU at the time are the i7-8705G and the i7-8809G, and the base clock reading of 3.1 gigahertz with boost going up to 4.1. All of these specifications point to the integrated Pro Radeon processor to be Polaris architecture. The first benchmark that we have comes straight from GFX Bench, and as we've mentioned in the past, it really isn't a good benchmark, and since it tends to be heavily influenced by, influenced by driver conditions, and will therefore not indicate a final performance that we can expect on these devices, still is a valuable data point for future reference. The 694C, also known as Kaby G with integrated Radeon graphics, scores 63.93 in the car chase scene, 7367 in the Manhattan scene and 31,088 in the T-Rex scenario. The second benchmark is from Geekbench and the entry has also helped us nail down the clock speed as well as other oddities in the lineup such with the results of an OpenCL score of 76,607. Now finally we have a real gaming benchmark, well that's arguable, from a, which stems from some Apisac and showcases the performance of the chip in a real game. The core clock of the processor is also revealed as well as its performance. The high 1080p preset was used to run the benchmark and shows close to expected performance for the specifications revealed. And finally we have the 3D Mark performance benchmark which should be fairly decent metric to compare the power of the chip and other with other integrated solutions. As far as we know, this remains the most powerful on-chip graphic solution that the world has ever seen. Cliché statements aside, this is honestly one of the more interesting developments of this year, and we simply cannot wait to see it in action. Now keep in mind, however, that AMD's offerings currently ship with Vega graphics, and it remains to be seen how these will compare. In any case, looks like Nvidia may be the only loser in this equation. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. If you found this video entertaining or informative at all, Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If you have anything to add to the conversation, do so in the comments, and we will catch you all in the next video.